Interested in how to properly strain relief your cables in your E-Chain application and what Igus can do to help? In this video, we're gonna go over proper installation techniques and what we offer for strain relief products. Hi, I'm Brett Stankin, Chainflex Product Specialist. Once you have the correct cables determined for your application, it's important to follow the IGUS recommendations as far as proper strain relief and installation of those cables. First, we're gonna go over proper cable location in an E-chain before strain relief. So you have a cable in an E-chain right here. Now what probably is most common, what we see the most often, is a cable being pulled too tight. And so there you're gonna get undue abrasion on the cable's outer jacket from this inside crossbar right here. The opposite is also true. If there's too much slack in the cable in the C-chain system, you're gonna get undue abrasion on the outer jacket from this outer crossbar right here. What you want is the cable to sit in this neutral axis and that's gonna help maximize your cable lifetime. Hey Don. Hey Brett, can I get that sample? Yeah, yeah, of course. Thanks, um, are you gonna cover strain relief today? Just about to. All right, thank you. So as Don mentioned, strain relief is a very important part of installing cables. It keeps cables in that neutral axis and prevents undue cable length from coming in or exiting the E-chain. So Igus offers a number of products for strain relieving your cables. The most popular and the most common you're gonna see would be tie wrap plates and then CFX clamps right here. And now we're gonna talk about tie wrap plates. As you can see here, two very different sizes, and I guess offers a litany of different sizes of tie wrap plates. Here, affixing to the end of an E-chain, and then it can also be affixed anywhere on your machine, but still wanting to ensure the principle of strain relief, which would keep the cable length in your E-chain system consistent. And so the most important part about tie wrap plates is the teeth. You wanna affix cable ties, underneath the teeth, as you see here, and then tighten those cable ties around the cable. We normally suggest using two cable ties per cable, as if one fails, you have to back. And then take off the slack of the cable ties, and here, you have a properly strain relieved cable with a tie wrap plate. The other common offering that Igus has for strain relief would be our CFX clamp. And so the CFX clamp comes in two pieces, the saddle and the clamp body. So what you wanna do is you lay the cable down the saddle and then affix the clamp body to the profile rail, as you see here, and then tighten using an Allen key. So we list tightening and torque specs in our catalog for you. We also offer a number of options for multiple cables being tightened in the CFX clamp. There you have a properly strain relieved cable using a CFX clamp. For more information on installations and special applications, visit the link below in the description. And here are the other design attributes that Chainflex incorporates in our cable to prevent other cable failure modes. Thanks for watching.